Yeah. We're coming up on hole number five here. It's a it's a forty yard hole right here. Here's Anders. Playing the role. All right. Ooh. This is the weirdest course. I'm pretending like I see where the ball is. That's nice. It's four under. Oh. Right next to Let's do a quick beard check before we start the trip. Beard check of Anders. A little, uh, little thing on the chin there. Stewie had a little head start here. What? How much of a head start? Like a week? Yeah. Got the old neck beard going good. Old neck beard. Going strong. You probably can't hear me right now! It's the end of our uh, first day here. Just had food, just got the old bag up. Feeling pretty good about that. And I'll just give you a quick tour of the campsite here. It is uh, the morning of day three at Oli Creek, and we're just packing up here. Got Stu about to pump some water. Mike's doing his favorite job of washing dishes. Probably doing a pretty good job back there, I'd imagine. Mike, how's that going? It's almost an art back here, really. And Mike's seen the master, as you can see, him licking the fork there to get the final scraps off. We got about a 12.2 mile hike, should be good. Hopefully the weather will hold out. And uh, that's about all we got for now. We thought we were ready to go. We had a big 12.2 mile day planned. And so we started out where we thought we were going. Went about two miles, realized it's probably wrong. We don't know for sure. Went back to where we started, came up to here. And the signs here in Glacier, they just don't make any sense. Like here it says, Fielding Coal Creek Trail. Go that way. But then, if you look at this sign, it says Fielding Trailhead. Go that way. So, you really have no idea where to go. Mike just went running off down this trail. Hopefully he'll be back in about 10 minutes because there's another trailhead down there. All we know is we need to go this way. And according to our map, there's only one trail going that way, but According to the sign, there's two, so we don't really know. Sue's getting on some Laffy Taffy. I think I'm gonna have a bar. I like Laffy Taffy. It's a beautiful day. You can't really complain about that. So we'll see what happens. So we just missed a trail. Somehow we found it again, having a little uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I just dropped mine on the ground. Lost the trail somehow, but we found it. We still got a ridiculous amount of ways to go. We we're gonna get in really late. Once we found the trail after we lost it, then we went down these crazy switchbacks and then we had to do 7.4 miles, which felt like 10. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think we were all ready to get to the campsite. It's now our third full day without seeing any people. We went uh, a mile and a half out of the way. <laughs> mile and a half to two miles, I'd say. Then decided to turn around because we went the wrong way. Um, Headed so that's three extra miles. Headed for old, old Highway 2. Yep. <laughs> that was, that's good. a bitch. <laughs> and then when we were on the mountain, about halfway through, the old uh, track disappeared from us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which no probably delayed us another half an hour. Yeah. So luckily we started like literally just going down the side of this mountain like ridiculously slow. Through no track. Like, yeah, trees, no track at brush. all. Found, found the trail. I don't even know how. Found the, <laughs> found the trail. I don't know how. And we found it within 500 feet of when we needed to. So Glacier will throw some curveballs at you, but in the end, <laughs> in the end, she'll usually hook you up. Dinner was sweet tonight. That's my favorite dinner ever. These trails that we've been on the last three days have ended up being really beautiful. I thought we were going to be in meadows, but it's been good. We'll check in tomorrow.